So we've got a bird on the ground. That is step one. But now you need to be able to get the good stuff out of it. Your breasts, your legs, your thighs. It's a pretty easy process with a turkey. The way I like to start is I just find that breastbone. Once you find the breastbone, you take your knife, insert it just underneath the skin and you can feel it. And then essentially you make a, you make a slit up and then you start skinning down almost like a deer. You just start peeling that skin away. Starts to peel away really nicely. You can almost just use your hands to pull as you go. So I like to open the turkey up wide like a book so you can see both breasts there nice and clean. And then you essentially just fillet down the edge of that breastbone with your knife, slowly peeling away the meat from the bone as you go down. And that just continues until the whole big piece of meat will, will slide out essentially. You just keep cutting away at that. Then you can just start seeing it's a big piece of meat. Pulls away. Got a nice big turkey breast. Do it on the other side. A lot of the stuff you can just kind of pull and it starts to pull away and you see where you just need to cut the connective tissue. Then you've got your two breasts out like that. Finally, then you're gonna continue that skinning process down to the thighs and legs, continuing your cut down until you get to that elbow joint. Peel it open, again, almost like the leg of a deer. And at that point, it's very easy to then just cut along the bottom where the meat stops, peel away that skin, and then you can cut right down here at the bottom of the thigh where it connects. You'll see where the meat ends, slice all the way around that, and, and the entire leg will just come loose then at that point. You're then left with a, essentially a drumstick attached to the kind of scaly portion of the turkey's leg. To get that piece off, you can cut the tendon on either side. This is essentially the, the knee joint, I guess you might call it. Once you cut those tendons, you can then pop it, wiggle it around, use your knife, cuts off real nice, and you're left with a tasty piece of meat.